Hi, I'm Ben Shiner, and welcome to Shield News. I'm here in the Max home court with the three captains of the men's basketball team, center Yoni Ekman, starting point guard Aton Sullivan, and center Shlomo Weisberg. Gentlemen, thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having us. Um, Shlomo, a special thanks to you for coming back on the show because you were one of our first guests back when Shield News was really getting its footing, so I'm happy to have you on the show again. Happy to be here again. Guys, you're, not only are you the captains of the team, but you're also the seniors on the basketball team. Tell me, now that looking back on your careers, give me a highlight from maybe from all of, all of your times. Um, my freshman year, we played in the Ramapo tournament. And the last game of the tournament, we played against Maritime. And it's very early in the season. I think it was like a second game, third game. And Coach looks down the bench halfway through the first half and goes, Ekman, get in there. And I couldn't believe what I heard. <laughs> I was terrified, got on the court, and then let the game come to me and played really well. And it just stuck with me the rest, you know, the rest of my career. It was great. Um, my highlight probably is my uh, first practice. So just walking into the gym, seeing the whole team there, seeing coach there and just being uh, all coming to me that I was part of this and part of a team. That's probably my highlight. So ironically, my highlight was also from uh, my freshman year. I don't want anyone to think that we haven't had three incredible years after that, but I guess, you know, the first time that you're a part of something is special. And I actually, unfortunately, got injured in the first half of my freshman year, sprained my ankle. And the first game that I played was the first game after break. We were out at Old Westbury. At that time, Old Westbury had a 6'10 se uh, senior center, Lester Prosper, who I think has gone on to play professional ball. And midway through the first half, I get called to go into the game. Again, this is the first time I'm getting on the court in my college basketball career. I get the ball at the free throw line, turn around, and I see, okay, you know, I have some room. Let's take a shot. Go up with the shot. This 6'10 Lester Prosper comes out of nowhere, blocks my shot, continues to take the ball down to the other end of the court, dunks it, next whistle, I get pulled out of the game, walk by coach, and he looks at me and he goes, welcome to college basketball. So, wow. unique experience. I see, that. Those are, those are quite the stories. I mean, sentimental, but also like a wake up call. And, and it seems that, you know, being on the basketball team is really a unique experience, and especially, I'm sure, working under Coach Halpert. Tell me, looking back on your career, you know, what have you gained from being on the team as a player and as a person being on this team and with this uh, monumental coach? Um, I think the, the number one thing I pulled away from this entire experience was an incredibly hard work ethic. Between the dual curriculum at YU and then at night having practices and games, we, we, work, our, we work really hard you know throughout all of fall semester and halfway through spring semester and coach really pushed us and really was there to help bring that work ethic to the floor and to help us off the floor as well um probably the the one thing i've learned from one thing of many things that i've learned from coach Halpert is he says this to us all the time that basically whenever something's not going right in life or or anything goes down, that what you do is you, you go on, you persevere, you pick yourself up. Um, and he, he tells us a lot that if we learn one thing from him, that's what, that's what he wants us to learn from, that at some, some points life might, might give you some stuff that's hard to deal with. And what you have to do is just pick yourself up and keep on going. Ben, I definitely want to echo what both Eitan and Yoni said, because I really do agree. And I've gained both the work ethic and the understanding that life brings challenges and you have to, you know, as coach always says, get, you fall off the bicycle, you get back up and you try again. Um, but something I think that I really gained from coach and from playing on this basketball team is having a role model, having a mentor of someone who really has it all. Coach is someone who has shown us firsthand what it means to be someone who really embodies a life of Torah Umada, someone who is a from Jew, who values, you know, a Jewish home, a Jewish life, and someone who values what he brings to the world. Coach is someone who has been not only a role model for us, the rest of our teammates, and many of the players that he's coached 
you know, in his 42 years here. But he's really been the face and the connection to the Jewish world, to so many people just in the basketball world. He's been invited to the New York Coaches Luncheon every year. He's gotten many awards, and he's shown how you can really be someone who is a frum, Torah-observant Jew, who is connected in the world and has been very successful in the world as well. So it seems you guys have learned that you can really do what you love and do it your way, and sometimes there are challenges, but you can overcome them, and it really seems invaluable to me. Um, now, guys, you have to admit that uh, basketball at YU is the most popular of the MAC sports. Um, you know, when I think of school spirit at YU, it's, it's in the court right here. Now, you guys have put out your blood, sweat, and tears for, for this team representing YU. Tell me, what are, your, what are your final thoughts looking back in your career? How do, how do you feel about the whole thing? And, uh, and it, what would you like to say from the heart? I'm, I'm just, I can't believe it's over. Like, it, it went by so quickly. I, I'm, you know, I think back to that, that game four years ago, and, like, it feels like yesterday. And I, I'm still in disbelief that it's, it's all done. Um, I guess just that four years ago, before the first tryout, I wasn't sure if I was going to try out, wasn't sure if I wanted to or not. Um, I ended up coming to the tryout, making the team, and throughout these last four years, I've thought about what would have happened if I didn't try out, and all I can think was, I'm so happy I tried out and had this experience. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking back right now to my senior night when I was playing at Ida Crown Jewish Academy for the Aces, and thinking then that, you know, this was going to be my last game. This was going to be my last chance to, to play, you know, um, organized basketball. And now I've had four years, and I can't really thank Yeshiva University enough for giving me the opportunity to play college basketball, to play on an NCAA sport. I can't thank the student body enough for supporting us, for, as you said, you know, and, and you said it, so I just want to point out to all the other athletes here that that came from Ben Shiner. <laughs> But, you know, giving us really support and encouraging us and constantly wanting to talk to us about, you know, the YU team, why we're winning, why we're losing, and give their thoughts. I, even if I didn't appreciate it then, I, I really probably did and appreciate it now. But, but YU basketball has been incredible. It's just been an awesome four years. It's been a great way to, to as you said, continue doing what we love in a way that we're really accomplishing everything we want to, whether it's spending time in the Beit Midrash, spending time in serious classrooms, and then also spending time playing serious basketball. So it's really been just a unique experience. Well, guys, I, I want to say thank you for, for playing. I enjoyed watching you over these, uh, these past few years and uh, also getting to know you personally a little. Um, and I wish you the best of luck in your final game coming this Saturday night, senior night. So, um, gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, guys, if you want to learn more about the Maccabees, um, men's basketball here at Yeshiva, or anything else uh, about these guys, go to yumax.com or check out facebook.com slash maxlive. I'm Ben Shiner. Thank you very much.